Show on. Call Honey Lai How about Shimmy Outside? By Shim, Rakaku Dash, Double Lunas to the Elves and the Apostles, the Great Millstone who rule well. Show on to the 144,000, the one third remnant men, women, and children of the Hope of Let Show on. <clears throat> this is the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another lesson. This is Ben Parry, how about Shimmy Outside? Praise and let's be able to find a straight to the point. And we're entering into those times, man. All right? Well, the things you say online, okay, it's starting in Oklahoma, okay, you can now be, all right, they want to begin jailing citizens who post offensive things online, okay? So, let's read this article. This is from the People's Voice TV, and it reads, it says, Oklahoma to begin jailing citizens who post offensive things online. So, let's read this article. The Oklahoma State Stint State yeah, the Oklahoma State Senate passed a bill last month that will allow police to imprison citizens who post or share things online that may cause offenses to minorities. Let's read it. It says, uh, SB 111 amends Section 1172 and 1953 of the Oklahoma Computer Crime Act passed in 2021 to stop cyberbullying through the telecommuni- any, uh, any telecommunications such as text, emails, phone calls, and posts made to social media platforms. Under Section Bill 1100, it will be illegal to willingly make any comment, request, suggestions, or a proposal which is obscene, lewd, lascivious, filthy, or indecent, with intent to harm or threaten to inf- or like threaten to inflict injury, physical harm, or severe emotional distress to any person. So they passed this bill, man. So shit is about to get real, and this is gonna happen all throughout America, man. Okay, well, you won't be, all right. Really, this is really targeted to the men of the Lord, man. Okay? If you say anything offensive online, you could be jailed for it. Let's continue. It says, Oklahoma State Senate passed Section Bill 1100 by a 38-8 vote. The bill passed was praised by Oklahoma Attorney General Gender Dumman. Drummond, who called it a strong, a stronger anti-bullying measure after the deaths of 17-year-old Mustang student Jock Turner and 16-year-old Owasso student Dank Jack Jagan, uh, whatever the person name, I'm gonna say it. All right, let's see. So. Basically, they're getting strict, man, in Oklahoma, okay? And it's going to, you know, get up to them, you know. We know what time we're in, man, all right? I'm not going to read all of this, but actually, let's read down here. It says, the penalties for breaking this law will be step steep. It says, first offense, maximum $500 fine or one year in county prison or both. Damn. Second offense, <laughs> maximum $1,000 fine or two years in the custody of the Department of Correction, Corrections of both. Third offense, maximum $100,000 fine or 10 years in the custody of the Department of Correction or both. Basically jail time, man. Okay? They're going to sink you to jail. You know, if you make anything offensive online, say anything offensive online, okay? So, there you go. It's a lot to read. I'm not going to read all of this, man. But these are the times that we're in, man, okay? Because you got some brothers in Oklahoma that teach the truth, man, okay? So, these are the times we're in. Esau's coming down with great wrath because he know that he have a short time, man. Let's get that scripture. And I'm going to uh, show another article. Revelation 12 and 12. 
Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath for a short time. Okay? So they're going to come up with all kinds of laws, unrighteous decrees to try to stop, hey, truth from getting out. Any type of information, they're going to deem it hateful, cyberbullying, offensive, lewd, lascivious, etc., man. Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? And that's he saw him as so-called white man. These devils. Okay? Let's go here and we got another article on the show. Okay? Because TikTok, we all know about the, they want to ban TikTok, but here's what TikTok is about to do. It's another article from the People's Voice TV, and it says TikTok announces plans to ban independent media from platforms. Okay, any type of media that speaks the truth, all right, they're gonna deem it hate speech or misinformation. Let's read. It says TikTok has announced plans to purge all independent media media creators. From the platform in an attempt to stop the spread of so-called harmful speech and misinformation. <laughs> Yay, why we're not shocked by that. It says from May 17th, TikTok will censor any content deemed conspiratorial on the platform. So there you go. Any in the, any truth that's coming out about what's going on over there in Israel or whatever. They're going to start censoring TikTok. I mean, not TikTok, but YouTube's been doing that for some, you know, for, you know, for years. You know, they started doing that back. Okay, they still do it. You know, they still take down brothers' videos and channels and, you know, you know what they call medical misinformation and all this other bullshit, man. Now TikTok, hey, this is really, hey, this going to spread to all the platforms on social media, man. On the internet. Pretty soon you're not going to be able to say nothing. Okay. You're not going to be able to say nothing. You're not going to be able to get the truth out man. So. Anything that's. You know. <laughs> revealing the truth. Or bringing out the truth. They're about to get rid of it. Okay. Let's continue. It says it posts on the company's site. Title. For your feed eligibility standards. Reveals that content is deemed as misinformation will be censored from this tab more strictly going forward. Going forward. Let's see. I'm not going to read all of this, but it is. Let's, uh, let's see. All right. Let's read it down here. It says, on the help side, TikTok looks to clamp down on anything from videos promoting unproven treatments. <laughs> dieting and weight loss wow plastic surgery unless related risks are included as well videos allege, allegedly misrepresenting significant findings to the very broad, broadly defined, defined content that is considered misleading and could potentially cause harm to public health yeah just like what YouTube does. Medical misinformation. That's what they do. So it ain't no different. <laughs> it says clarity is not the announcement's strong suit. And so the new rules will tackle even such things as overgeneralizing mental health information. Also in the FYF doghouse will be contents that that's Found to be too focused on sadness, including sharing sad quotes. Damn. They ain't got TikTok, so oh well. Then there then there's a blog post explain explanations that some types of content may be fine if seen up uh option optionally but probably if viewers viewed in clusters. There you go. It says, what is 
What this actually means is control of users' exposure to content at its finest. We will interrupt repet repetitive content patterns to ensure it is not viewed too often. Too often, TikTok says. There you go, man. I'm not going to read the rest of this. So, there you go, man. They clamping down. <laughs> too much information getting out about, you know. And really, to be honest with you, it ain't really got nothing to do with weight loss and all of this stuff. You know they were you know what they really clamping down on, man. We all know. Like I said in Second Corinthians two and eleven, let's get it, man. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of these devil schemes. So really they want to censor the truth. That's what it's really about. Censoring the truth. Okay? Censoring real information. Okay? Anyone that brings out the truth about a certain thing is going to be deemed as hate speech, harmful speech, and, you know, misinformation. Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Okay? So, yeah. And that's what these devils hate, man. The fact that the truth is coming out about them. And then all this stuff that's coming out about these devils, man. Esau, even so-called white man, they can't handle it. So now they're <clears throat> bringing more censorship. Okay? And in Oklahoma, you see what's going on there. They signed a bill to, hey, anybody that's posting offensive content or offensive posts or anything, you could be arrested. Fined. So... <laughs> Hey, that goes to show you that, hey, we're in those times, man. Look, our time of preaching this truth is almost up, man. Let's get this scripture. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the day is come, said the Lord, how about me, I'll shy. That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, how about me, I'll shy. So, the famine of the word is close at hand. So, hey, we tell you Israelites, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to get this truth while you can. Because they clamping down. Okay, what's going on in Oklahoma? That's going to eventually spread. Okay? So, we're in those times, man. Amos 8 and verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. How about some y'all shine? Shall not find it. You're not going to be able to find this truth for long. Okay? They're going to start locking people up in Oklahoma just for, you know. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But that's the times we're in, man. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay? Esau eat them. Going to cast some of you into prison, man. FEMA camps, concentration camp, re-education camps, okay? That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, time of persecution is, hey, drawing near. Let's go here. Luke chapter 12, 21, and verse, start here. Excuse me. Luke chapter 21 and verse 12. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, and deliver you up to the synagogues, and into prison, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. So, hey, persecution is close at hand. Okay? Verse 13. And it shall turn to you for testimony. Verse 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, which means your mind, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So. The Lord how about Shion Shah is going to give us the words in that time to speak. Okay. Verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed. Both by parents 
and brethren and kings folks and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death yeah that time is getting close okay persecution is at the door okay verse 17 and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake so we're hated because we're bringing out the truth of Yahweh Shemiyashai. Our people, two thirds of our people hate us. These Edomites hate us, and these heathens hate us, man. But that's okay though. Yahweh Shemiyashai are gonna give us the words to speak when we hey, when that time comes. Let's get this. Isaiah fifty four and verse seventeen. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh Shai, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord Yahweh Shai. So, look, when that time comes, man, and we're very close to that time, okay? Some of us may be put to death for this truth, but we're going to continue to strive and fight for this truth even into the death, okay? Let's get this. This is Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and I will give thee a crown. Snoggy. And I'm going to read that again. Snoggy. <laughs> Thinking of uh, Revelation 2 and 10. Okay. Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord Yahweh Shah shall fight for thee. The Lord is going to fight for his elect. We ain't got to say nothing. We ain't got to do nothing, man. Let's get this scripture. It's one of my favorites, man. I love this scripture here, man. It's a beautiful scripture right here. I love this one. Exodus 14, verse 14. The glory of Yahweh Shah shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Yeah. So the Lord got us, man. You ain't got to worry about what these devils going to do. We know they're going to come down with great wrath because they know they got a short time. They wait. Hey, we know they're censoring. They're about to censor us. Okay? And really, this is targeted to the men of the Lord, man. That's who it's really targeted to. Okay, because too much truth is coming out, okay, about these devils. Hey, Esau is being exposed in these last days. Let's get this. Let's get this. Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Okay, the truth is coming out about these devils, man. He's being revealed. That man of sin has been revealed in these last days, which is Esau, even the so-called white man. Okay? So, this devil is butt hurt, man. So now, he's about to really clamp down. Okay? Because, you know, TikTok, you know, you got a lot of folks that, you know, have a lot of information, a lot of truth. Really, they want to ban TikTok here in Babylon. They already signed the bill to ban the uh, app, but, you know. Talking about some security breaches or whatever shit, you know. Well, we all know what it's truly about, man. We all know why they want to get rid of TikTok here in Babylon. Because it's coming. Hey, because too much in truth is coming out. <laughs> so, pretty soon, come next month, you ain't going to be able to find too many, you know, you know, truth is, you know, information. Okay, truthful information come. On TikTok, man, they're going to start taking down videos that expose their agenda and everything else. So, look for that. So, we you know we're close to the family of the word, man. We're close. Because, you know, you got some brothers that are on TikTok, man. Okay? So, originally, all these platforms, and really, YouTube already does it, you know, to a T. Okay, all these platforms, man, you're not going to be able to speak the truth no more. You're not going to be able to, you know, say certain words. You're not going to be able to say, you know, just like YouTube, now TikTok, man. All these platforms, eventually. Okay, so that's the times we're in. <clears throat> so get ready. Because, hey, we almost out of here. So with that. Um, I'm trying to think of anything. Uh, well, let me get one more. Let me get another one. Okay. Because, hey, Lord Yahweh is about to silence his prophets, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 26. 
and I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reproval, for they are a rebellious house. So the Lord is about to silence this man, and we are close to that time, man. Okay? So we're going to continue to work the work. Okay? So, hey. We tell you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes and Latinos and they Americans. And you speckled bird Israelites that scatter amongst the eating that look like the eating. Get this truth while you can, because, yeah, time's almost up, man. So with that, I'm going to end it here. I pray this quick lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to how about Shmiel Shai, Hashem, Rakak Wadash. It's on to the next one, Shalom, Kwam Yashrala. Stay circumspect, Israel. We almost home. And wild Baba Ball. Show on.